Hey, how are you all doing? Uh, I haven't posted anything for quite a while, for a couple of reasons. Um, I've been really busy. I'm living in the bus full time now. Have been for several months and took a lot of work getting ready to move out of the house. Uh, had some construction stuff to do, etc. You know, we will be posting that, just not part of this series. Um, and took a road trip back east, to visited Tara. Tara! What? You're on YouTube! No, I'm not! You know, etc. But the other problem is that somebody decided to steal my video camera when I was at the Oregon Country Fair. So yeah, that wasn't very nice, was it? And that kind of took the wind out of my sails. I lost a lot of footage. Luckily, though, uh, I have a the phone that I have right now is a Samsung. It's got a fairly decent camera, so I've been using that more and more. So I do have a bit of fitted footage that was on the phone, and with between that and a little bit of narration should be able to bring you up to date with what's going on with the bus. Um, in this video, I'm going to be rewiring my solar panels. A couple of reasons. Uh, one is I had one panel in the front all by itself that uh, where I, I decided I want to put a roof hatch there. So I'm going to move that one in the back where the other three are, uh, which will mean I have to modify my rack so it'll fit four panels instead of three. Uh, then the other thing is that each panel will now have its own individual wire uh, going up to the front panel where each one has its own ammeter where I can monitor how each one's doing. And uh, I've been wanting to do that, but what kind of prompted it was the back ones failed due to a bad connection. I didn't catch it right away, but now if one of them goes out, it's obvious it shows up immediately because of the ammeter. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And then um, in next week, uh, what happened was as I was doing that, I blew out my my cheapo solar controller like a dumbass. Uh, so in next week we will see a brand new um, 80 amp Sun Yoba, which I've uh, bought to replace that in a discussion of PWM versus MPPT controllers. So I hope you find it useful. Stay tuned. Well, the bus spent most of its winter plugged into this RV outlet here. Now summer's starting to come on and I'm actually parked down here, which is not where we were just looking at. There's no RV outlet down here. And so I'm running off solar, and I knew there was something wrong. You can see here I am, I've got three, there's three panels there, and there's another one there, and that's 400 watts. And I was only drawing about two amps here in the sun like this. So I knew something was going on wrong, something was going south. So let's go inside and check out what I've seen in there. Here's where everything comes together. The, the three panels that uh, are in the back are wired in parallel. They're coming in through here. The one that's from the front just comes in through up here. I've got the front one jumpered in to the battery controller and you can see I'm doing almost three amps just on that one guy alone. Now let's see what happens though when I hook up the 300. So there's a problem there. I'm getting 0.4 amps and uh, that should be like three times what the other one is. Uh, the other one's just 100 watts. This is 300 watts. So you can see there's a problem. So I guess uh, um, I'm going to just start unplugging them and see. I, I suspect one of them is bad. Could be the wiring is bad. I, that's I hope is my just my uh, terrible wiring job somewhere. You see, I've got these three to one connectors. It's hard to see it, I know. But there are three positives coming in this way, from one from each panel. Three negatives, one from each panel. So I'm going to unplug these. So I started unplugging these solar panels one by one and checking inside to see if there was any difference. But then I realized when I came up that this connector had come apart. So this was probably the problem the whole time. I had this on my list of things to do anyway, so I'm going to do it now. What I had before was I had these uh, tied into a, this is a triple um, thing here. So I had three of them plugged in and they would go down to a single wire that I had going to the controller. Um, but now I'm going to upgrade this and I'm going to use a single wire for each one. I'll run those down to the controller and um, I'm going to put an inline ammeter with each one and a switch. I like switches and I like dials and meters 
and so I thought that would be kind of cool. I'll show you what I've got. These came with the panels. These are, uh, I think they're called MC4 connectors. And I'll show you how these go together. My panels came with these. Um, so I bought some more on eBay. And um, this is supposed to be an M MC4 crimping tool. Uh, I don't know. It, it's kind of strange that it has these That stuff on there, 14 to 18 gauge. <laughs> I'm using 12 gauge, so I don't know. Whatever this thing is, it does work. Um, I've seen these on eBay for you know $150. So if you do this for a living, I imagine you have a $150 one, and you're jumping up and down saying I wasted my money on this junk or something. But it does seem to work. Although as we just saw recently, I believe the problem that led to all this was a bad um, connection uh, whether you want to blame the tool or the person using it I don't have the greatest track record of crimping tool connections I think I've gotten better at it but anyway I'm just saying could be me my fault not the tool um, so I'll show you how these go together as you can see there's a male and a female on the inside of the connector are these inserts here and uh, these are what make actually make the connection inside there and interestingly the male one gets the female insert and the vice versa so here's how these guys go there are these little parts inside so be careful if you take it apart like I'm doing here Right. So you don't really need to take it all apart. Best to leave these alone. I'm going to slide this part over the wire. And so I'm just going to put this on here. Like that. Alright, then I'm going to take my crimping tool. And make sure it's on there. Doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. It seems to work, so to clamp it down like this, and then turn it 90 degrees, and clamp it down again, and so it kind of makes a square crimp on there. And that seems to work the best. And then now we're gonna take this guy. This part, just screw it back on. So here I've, see I've run a different wire for each, I've run enough for four panels. So I'll show you what I'm doing here. Um, I've got a ammeter I bought on eBay. I've got four of them actually, one for each of my solar panels, a toggle switch. I've got this sheet of aluminum and I'm going to make an instrument panel. Something like this. Yeah, well it's times like this I wish I had a real metal shear. I'm going to have to cut this freehand here. Uh, wish me luck. Cross your fingers. Here's how this turned out. Pretty nice, huh? I'm happy with it. And here's how it's looking from the back, at least so far. So I've got a fuse coming in. The solar positive part of the solar is going to come through here uh, through the meter down to the switch and then this will continue to the to the uh, controller well I think that's probably a pretty good place to leave off for now uh, next video we will see that I blew out my uh, solar controller and I had to buy another one so next uh, week we will be looking at uh, Sunyoba 80 amp Solar controller, a PWM, also a description of MPPT versus PWM controllers. And uh, hey, thanks for watching. Hope to catch you next time. Have a good one.